Lucas Media. Don't forget to smash the like button. But Bronny James ended up finishing his summer league season against the Cleveland Cavaliers. I thought he was going to play against the Chicago Bulls. I didn't pull up ESPN Plus, and of course, he didn't play. They set him and Dalton connect out. Now, when he played up against the Hawks, he scored 12 points, and against the Cleveland Cavaliers, he scored 13 points, five rebounds, three assists, and a block. And I think that they just wanted to end it on a high note, also to prevent injury. They put rest on there, which is I, that's crazy to me. Imagine people in the 80s and 90s complaining about rest, but that's what this new generation the new NBA does, but I will say this because I've seen this on fadeawayworld.net. Is Bronny James the most hyped 55th overall pick of all time? Absolutely, absolutely. But it's not just because he's the son of the greatest NBA player of all time, it's because of or arguably one of the greatest. Let me say that it's also because an all time legend said that he, he thought his son was up next. And my dream is to play with Bronny, I'm gonna play with Bronny. And they draft Bronny for the Lakers, along with hiring his podcast teammate, J.J. Reddick, as the head coach with no coaching experience. All of that caused a Microsoft under Bronny. So it didn't, if Bronny didn't go out there and drop 20, he would want to have this kind of criticism. Like if he would have been averaging 12 again, well, maybe if he, if he would have been averaging the same the first, the last two games or the first two games, he might have, he would have got heat, but not as much. But you can't do that. Like, yes, is it unfair to put this type of pressure on a 55th overall pick? Sure. But this isn't the average 55th overall pick. Just like he wasn't getting the average NIL deal last year. Just like he didn't get the average wink, wink, and get drafted to his father's team, the Los Angeles Lakers. When you only averaged, and I keep saying average, that's the word of the day, four points a game in college. Yes, Brian is going to be scrutinized. He's going to be scrutinized all this year. Even the G League, if he plays most of his games in the G League, I won't be surprised if the G League ratings go up because you want to see how Bronny's going to compete. I, I want to do it too. Bronny has been followed around since elementary school. His dad was at the games dunking when he was in middle school, dunking, warming up because he's so hyped. And as a parent, I have no problem with it. I have no problem with nothing that LeBron's done. But at the same time, you cannot argue the other side like it, it's both sides of the coin heads and tails so yes heads he's gonna get all the praise when it's time but tails he gonna get the scrutiny when he messes up and i think there's something that Bronny is, is starting to realize he did say that he was going through it he was going through it and he was just trying to stay sane and his dad kept telling him to keep playing to keep playing his game so i mean i listen i'm not one of these guys yeah i'm gonna criticize the whole thing but I'm not one of these guys that want Bronny to lose. I don't want him to be uh, unsuccessful. I want him to be whatever he wants to be. If he wants to be an all-star Hall of Famer, great. If he wants to just come off the bench and contribute, great. But at the, but again, when you're a top pick, I mean top pick, when you're father one of the greatest players of all time and you playing, and people keep saying, oh, Marcus and Jeff. If Marcus and Jeff grew up in this era and Marcus and Jeff were able to go to the NBA, you better believe they was going to be scrutinized. You better believe it. Kenya Martin's son, even Gilbert Arenas with his son Elijah. His son, my son, is saying great. Elijah, you don't think Elijah going to be scrutinized if, if he go to the NBA? He bigger than his dad. They say he's better than his dad at this age. You don't think when he go to college, the spotlight's going to be on him? When he go to the NBA, the spotlight's going to be on him? Now, if Gilbert, since Gilbert's retired, it won't be as bad. But if he was in the league, you don't think that he... People will want to know, is he up next? That just was come with the territory. LeBron has done a tremendous job taking care of his body, which is able to keep him in the league playing at a high clip still this long. And shout out to him. I seen he's the he's going to be uh, representing the flag in the Olympics in Paris. That's just what comes with it, you know. So I'm sure Bronny, they want him in on a high note. I think that he's going to keep training, keep working. And yeah, we got to see for the preseason. But I am very, I'm very curious to see how will Bronny play in an NBA game against not the G League, but when you go up against the Clippers or the Celtics or somebody? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think? Y'all think Bronny's gonna be is gonna be good or or what? Tell me what y'all think.